from Pastor Joe Newsom, elect Lady Newsom, and all of us at Big E Holy Ministries. We're happy you're here for our 25th Family and Friends Night. It's important to us that you're part of tonight's prayer, worship, and growth. We're grateful for your ongoing help and dedication to our church family. Now let's enjoy this wonderful night in the Lord's presence. I will bless thee, O oh, oh Lord, with the heart of thanksgiving. I will bless thee, O oh, oh Lord. I will bless thee, O oh Lord. I will bless thee, O oh, Oh Lord, with a heart of thanksgiving, I will bless the oh, oh Lord, I will bless the oh Lord, I will bless the oh, oh heart of thanksgiving I will bless the O oh Lord with my hands lifted up and my mouth filled with praise with the heart of Thanksgiving, I will bless the O, O Lord, with my hands lifted up and my mouth filled with praise, with the heart of Thanksgiving. I will bless the O, O Lord. I will bless the O, Lord. I will bless the O, O Lord. With the heart of thanksgiving, I will bless the Oh, oh Lord, I will bless the oh Lord. Anybody else can say it on tonight? I will bless the oh, oh Lord with a heart of thanksgiving. I bless the oh, oh Lord, with my hands lifted up in total surrendering, God, and my mouth filled with praise, not just with lip service, with the heart of thanksgiving. I will bless the O, oh Lord, hallelujah, 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 God we give you glory, hallelujah, God we give you praise, hallelujah. God, you worthy, 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 you worthy. Hallelujah. Oh yes, oh yes. Oh yes. 
Oh, yeah. I surrender all to you. Everything I give to you. Withholding nothing. Withholding nothing. Withholding nothing, withholding nothing, I surrender all to you. Everything I give to you, withholding nothing. Withholding nothing, withholding nothing, withholding nothing, I surrender, I surrender all to you. How many can say that tonight? Everything. To you, withholding nothing. That's all right. That's all right, Zion. Withholding nothing. Withholding nothing. Withholding nothing. I give myself away. Come on, preacher. You got me. Oh, yeah, I give myself away so you can use me. I give myself away. No, that's right. How many can say that tonight? Oh, Lord, I give myself away. Oh, yes, Lord. So you. I give myself away. I know that's right. I know that's right. Hallelujah. Oh, Lord. I give myself away. So you can use me. Here I am. That's all right. Here I stand, Lord, my, my life is in your hand, Lord, I'm lost I know that's right. I know that's right. to see your desires Revealed in me, oh, I give myself away. Hallelujah! Oh, 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 I give myself away. So you, so you can oh, yes, Lord. Oh, yes, Lord. I give myself away. Oh my, I give myself away so you can use me. My life is not my own, to you I belong. I give myself. I give myself to you. Oh, my life is not my own. To you I belong. I give myself. I give myself to you. I want to say it again. My, my life. My life is not my own. Oh, no, 
no, no, no. To you I belong. I give myself, give myself to you. I give myself away. Can somebody slip that hand up and just sing that with me? Thank you, Jesus. I give myself away so you can use me. I give myself away. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, oh my. I give myself away so you, so you can use I give myself away. Everybody slip that voice up. Thank you, Jesus. I give myself away so you can use me. I give myself away. Oh, thank you, Lord. I give myself away so you can use me. Oh, tell the Lord, just use me. Go on and use me, Jesus. Just use me. Just use me, use me, use me, Lord. Just use me. One more time. I give myself away. I give myself away. So you can use me. I give myself away so you can use me. Take my, take my hand, Lord, in your. Give myself away, oh Lord, I give myself away, so you can use me. Mm. My life is not my own, to you I belong. I give myself, I give myself to you. Oh, my life is not all over the room to you. Oh, Lord, I give myself, I give myself to you. I give myself away. Amen. Come on and give God a hand. Praise. Amen. Give myself away. How many want the Lord to use you? Amen. Come on, I ain't hear nobody. How many want the Lord to use you? Amen. Amen. Let us go into a word of prayer. We thank God for everybody in the midst. Amen.
for Pastor Newsom, for everybody that's here, all the pastors, first ladies, amen. He's sweet, I know. He knows. Dark cloud may rise, strong wind may blow, but I'll tell the world wherever I go that I found a Savior, and He's sweet, I know. He's sweet, I know. I know a cloud may rise, the may flow, but I find the Savior wherever I go. And I, oh, he's sweet, I know. Amen. Will you stand as we go to the throne of grace? Heavenly Father, we come before you thanking you for your goodness and your kindness. We welcome your Holy Spirit on this night, O oh God, that you may move around this sanctuary. Heal, deliver, and set the captive free, Lord. Loose the bands of wickedness, undo heavy burden. Allow the oppressed to go free, Lord. Father, we thank you, Lord. We thank you for traveling mercy, God. We thank you for the fellowship, Lord, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord. We come with lifted up hands and thanksgiving in our heart, oh God. And we welcome your Holy Spirit on this night, God. Be with everyone that's here and those that are on their way. Protect them from danger seen and unseen, Lord. Father, we thank you right now for the man of God that's going to break forth the word of life, oh God. In the name of Jesus, help us to catch on fire on tonight. Help us, oh God, to just give you all the praise, all the honor, all the glory. Help us, oh Lord. We need you to help us, Lord, and build us, strengthen us, and encourage us to have your way, Lord. Look on the sick. Look on the shut in. In the name of Jesus, Satan, we rebuke you right now. In the name of Jesus, we plead the blood. We determine to lift up the name of Jesus. We determine to shout and praise our God. He been better than me than I've been to myself. We welcome you, Holy Spirit. Come on in the room. Come on and heal. Heal our bodies in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, I thank you right now. Thank you for the angel of this house. Thank you for the people of God. Sweep over our soul, Lord. Oh, have your way with us right now. And Lord, I thank you, Lord. Look on every one, God, to have a sick person in their family that's going through some things mentally, physically, and spiritually, Lord. We pray healing in the name of Jesus. And Father, I give you praise. I give you honor. I give you glory in Jesus' name. Let the church say amen. Come on and give them some praise. Amen. At this time, Elder Edwards is going to be coming with the scripture. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. God is good all the time. Well. Amen. Glory to God. Thank God for that invocation. Amen. Yes, hey, I'm going to come to 2 Corinthians 5 and the 7, 17th verse. Amen. Uh -huh. Through the 21st. Yes. It says, therefore... If any man be in Christ, any man, he is a new creature. Yes, sir. All things Old are thing. passed away. Behold, all things, all things are become new. Yes. And all things are of God. Yes, sir. Who hath reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ. Glory to God. And hath given us the ministry of reconciliation. To wit that God was in Christ yeah. reconciling the world unto himself. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. Not imputing their trespasses unto Come on. them. And have committed unto us the word, the word. of reconciliation. Yeah. Now then, we are ambassadors for yes, Christ. Sir. As though God did beseech you by us, we pray you in Christ, stead be ye reconciled to God. For he hath made him to be yes. sin 
for us Come on. who knew now no sin that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. Glory to God. Come on, amen. Y'all yeah, should be happy about that one. Amen. Amen. We ain't no more sinners now. We saved and sanctified. Holy Ghost filled and fire baptized. Y'all might as well get on fire today. Huh? You need to shake off some of that hapashi you had on on the day. Huh? I might well leap a little bit. Because you know I made the wrong turn coming here. But God brought me all the way back. Somebody say thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. I got a mind to live right. Why should I be by? Huh? Amen. I, I, I just want to just say a little piece of that though. I got a mind to live right. Why should I be bound? I got a mind to live right. Why should I be bound? I got a mind to live right. Why should I be bound? Why should I be bound in the Lord? Come on, one more time. I got a mind to live right. Why should I be bound? I got a mind to live right. Why should I be bound? I got a mind to live right. Why should I be bound? Why should I be bound in the Lord? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I got a mind to live right. Woo! We might well have church. We ain't got nothing else to do. We might well have church on the night, huh? Why should I? Go ahead. He's all right. My Jesus, he's all right. 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 All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. He's all right. He's all right. Well, praise God. Amen. Amen and amen. Thank you, Jesus. We gonna have praise the Lord. Be holy. Come on in. Come on, my Jesus. Be all right. Have you tried, my 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 Jesus? Come on, praise and worship. Praise and worship. Come on, my Jesus. He's all right. Have you tried, my 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 Jesus? He's all right. Tell me what you know about Jesus. He's all right. Tell me what you know about Jesus. He's all right. Tell me what you know about Jesus. He's all right. Have you tried, my 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 Jesus, he's all oh, right. He's all 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 right. 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 All right
my Jesus. He's all right. 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 I said, what's his name? Jesus. What's his name? Jesus. What's his name? Jesus. I love to call him. Jesus. I love to praise him. Jesus. I love to call him. Jesus. I love to praise him. Jesus. 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 Tremble at that name. Jesus. Devils run Jesus. from that name. Jesus. I love the 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 name. Jesus. 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 I said, what's your name? Jesus. I said, what's your name? Jesus. I said, what's your name? Jesus. I said, call his name. Jesus. Jesus. Come on, stay safe. Jesus. 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 I love to call him. Jesus. I love to call him. Jesus. Help me to call him. Help me to call him. Jesus. Help me to call him. Jesus. Souls are saved. Jesus. Souls are delivered. Jesus. Souls are healed. Jesus. Every knee Jesus. has got to bow. Jesus. 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 Jesus, 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 something about, Jesus. about that name, Jesus. there's something about, Jesus. about that name, Jesus, 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 there's power in the name of, there's power in the name of, deliverance in the name Jesus, 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 Jesus,
people power. Power, Lord. Power. We got to have power. Power, Lord. We need more power. Power, Lord. A sanctified power. Power, Lord. A healing power. Power, Lord. Power. 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 Power, Lord. We need your power. Power, Lord. We got to have power. Power, Lord. We got to have power. Power, Lord. Your sanctified power. Power, Lord. Your healing power. Power, Lord. Your gracious power. Power, Lord. Your Holy Ghost power. Power, Lord. Power. Power, Lord. Power. Power, Lord. Power. Power, Lord. 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 Jesus, 
What's his name? What's his name? Who saved you? Who saved you? Yes, it is. Yes, it was. Well, glory. Well, glory. Look at him, Saint. Look at him. Y'all might well have church. You gonna go back to doing nothing anyway. You might well have it tonight. Might be your last time. I don't know. Might be your last time. Might be the last time I shake your hand. Huh? Might be my last time that I do my dance. Hey! Glory! Woo! I know y'all ain't tired. Hallelujah! Woo! My God, my God, my God, my God! Oh, yeah! I tell you! My God, my God! Oh, yeah! How did you feel when you come out of the wilderness? They said, the songwriter said, I felt like shouting. I felt like praising. Huh? Woo! My God, my God. They said, Miriam, praise them with the tambourine. She got the shouting, and the women got the shout. Everybody got happy. Saints, look at here. You better give them all you got. The night is coming where no man can work. You better give it to them now. Huh? I'm going to give them all I got. I ain't come 125 miles to do this here. I ain't come to do this here. I might be tired. But oh, glory to God. Woo! They say leave for joy. I think we didn't got away from a lot of stuff. We didn't got away from it. But oh, something got a hold of me. Something got a hold of me. I went to a meeting one night and my mind wasn't right. Woo! They said it was the Holy Ghost. I think somebody missing it. You're going to get it tonight. You're going to get it tonight. You're going to get it tonight. Hallelujah. Come on and give my hand wave. He's worthy, saints. He's worthy. I know you're going through. I know you're hurting. I know some things ain't right. But oh, we pray, sacrifice, and pray. Oh, my God. Man, I'm excited about the night. Woo! I'm excited about the night. I'm excited about the night. Huh? Woo! I heard the music when I was coming in. Almost remind me back in the day. You came in with a dance and a song. But oh, God is good. We gonna, we gonna move right along. Thanking God for everyone on the day. Because this is the day, saints. 25 years. Man, that's a blessing. Come on and give God a hand. Pray. 25 years. This brother and this sister, they believed in the report. Huh? Whose report? You gonna believe? Huh? Sally tried to creep, but she couldn't creep. Johnny tried to sneak, but he couldn't sneak. They were living holy. They say down on my knees, I cry holy. That's what it's going to take, saints. It's going to take a life living. And I tell you, all our good days do our way our bad. At this time, we're going to have the welcome by Sister Tammy Edwards and our holy greetings by Mother Gloria Scott in that order. Come on and give God a hand praise for him. Ain't it? Ain't it? Ain't it something? Y'all not, 
I got to do better now. Come on, hold it. Woo! Good evening, good evening, good evening. Good evening. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, beloved families and friends. Yes. On behalf of Be Ye Holy Ministries, I warmly welcome each and every one of you to our 25th annual family and friends celebration. Today marks a quarter of a century of this wonderful tradition, a gathering where we all come together, not just as individuals, but as a community, as a family, and united by shared faith and love. In 1 Peter, the first chapter, and the 16th verse, uh -huh. which says, Be holy, Be holy. because I am holy. Yeah. As we gather here tonight, let us remind ourselves of the spirit within us and the holiness that binds us. Yeah. For 25 years, 25. we have strived to live by these words yeah. through our prayers, our deeds, and our love for one another. Amen. Tonight, we are not merely celebrating an anniversary. We are celebrating a journey, a journey of faith, of perseverance, and of compassion. We are celebrating every heart that has found comfort within these walls, every prayer that has been lifted and every hand that has been held. Right. So let's embrace this evening with joy, Hallelujah. thankfulness, Hallelujah. and renewed commitment yes. to, be to be holy as God is holy. Right. Amen. Thank you for being here, for being part of this ministry, yes. and for walking this spiritual journey with us. Yes. Yes. Here's to the next 25 years of unity, glory, faith, Faith and love. Hallelujah. God bless. Amen. Come on and praise him. Y'all feel welcome? Hallelujah. Thank God for mother. Amen. Amen. Thank God for mother. Amen. your mother thank God amen for each one that's here thank God amen for sister Edwards amen giving us a warm welcome and the greeting from the mother amen truly we thank God for being here we feel welcome when we came here I thank God amen for the spirit of Christ in this place amen and we thank God for all of you on this day that the Lord has made amen and amen and at this time, we're going to have the finance committee. Amen and amen. 
truly we do give God all the praise. Amen. You know we coming down to the time to hear what thus said the Lord on the day. Amen. And I thank God for everyone. Amen. On this day, amen, we're going to have a selection, amen, from Sister Jemiah. Then we're going to have the introduction of the speaker. Right after the speaker being introduced, it, amen, we're going to ask, amen, that New Abundant Life Church of God in Christ Choir praise team come, amen, for the speaker speak, amen? Amen. amen. Come on, can I get more than just one amen out here? Amen. What, I'm going to need to pay y'all to praise him? Go ahead, y'all. I love you, Jesus. All right, I worship and adore you. Yeah. Just want to tell you, Come on. Lord, I love you more than anything. Yeah. And adore you. That's all right. That's all right. Just want to tell you, Lord, I love you more than anything. Yes, yes. I lift my hands in total adoration unto you. You reign on the throne, for you are God and God alone. Because of you, my cloudy days are gone. I can sing to you this song. I just want to say that I love you more than anything. That's all right, that's all right. I lift my hands in total adoration unto you. You reign on the throne, for you are God and God alone. Because of you, my cloudy days yes, are yes, gone. I can sing to you this song. I just want to say that I love you more than anything. I love you, Jesus. I worship and adore you. Just want to tell you, Lord, I love you more than anything. I love you, Jesus. I worship and adore you. Just want to tell you. Lord, I love you more than anything. I love you, Jesus. I worship and adore you. Just want to tell you, Lord, I love you more. I love you, Jesus. I worship, I worship and adore. 
just want to tell you, Lord, I love you. More than I love you. I worship. Just want to tell you, Lord, I love you. cancer survivor. Oh yes. That's why she can say she loved you, Jesus. I loved you, Jesus. Oh my mama. I worship and adore you. Just want to tell you Lord, I love you more have to understand why she's singing that song. If you don't know her story, you don't know why she's giving God the glory. Amen. But she is a cancer survivor. And this, this preacher right here, I'm not going to tell you what he called me and accused me of. <laughs> but the Lord spoke to his cancer and said, be still. Thank you, Jesus. Don't tell me what God won't do. Thank you, Jesus. Pa Pastor Munchen, this preacher asked me about a month and a half ago, do miracles still happen? And um, I was down in Mississippi running revival. As a matter of fact, Pastor Owens, First Lady Owens, that's the, I was at their church running revival. And I left my handkerchief and towels at the hotel and didn't have one. But one of the brothers in his church had one, a brand new one, and let me use it. And I didn't have no wash machine in a hotel, so I folded it nice, put it back in the bag, and gave it to him Thursday night. He went home to wash it, and the Holy Ghost said, don't wash it. Lay it on the part of your ailment. Amen. Came back to church Friday night, the last night of revival. Am I right, Pastor? Testify how God completely healed him. Somebody give God some praise. And no, I have not gone into selling handkerchiefs. <laughs> Amen. Uh, <laughs> that's what they call him. <laughs> Amen. But we thank God for the move of the Holy Ghost tonight. Thank God for Elder Collier being with us. Amen. That brother called me all the time. Won't know what I'm doing. Am I up? Amen. Praise the Lord. We thank God for giving traveling grace and mercy. I love that brother. 
Amen. But tonight we are in for a treat. Our jurisdictional Ames president, Pastor Lydell Munchens. Amen. Is that all right? A new abundant life ministry. Amen. Here to declare the word. I thank God for him because when we first got to know each other, got first got acquainted with each other, and he found out we were on a mission to pay the church off, he asked me, could he be a part of it? And I said, well, yes, as a matter of fact, we only have nobody scheduled to speak that Sunday, so you can speak. Amen. And how many of y'all know the Lord gave us an overflow when we paid the church off? Come on and give the Lord a hand, please. Thank God for First Lady Munchens. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Let's give a little hand praise for her tonight. Amen. And so after the voice of his choir, the next voice you hear, I'm going to ask you to stand to your feet and receive this man of God in Jesus' name. Is that all right? Celebrate with you as you honor your man of God, but we come to celebrate God. Amen. We have all been born with a purpose. We have been created by God to do one thing, and that's to worship him in spirit and in truth. So we come tonight to lift the spirit of God in this place. We come to when God comes through, the ground is fertile, and the word is ready to be received. Amen. Hallelujah.
Now, Father, we glorify you and we magnify you for your goodness and for your love and your kindness, your tender mercies wherewith you have loved us because you've loved us with an everlasting love. And Father, my prayer tonight is that you would speak through these lips of clay. Have your way tonight. Hide me behind your glorious cross and let no flesh glory in your sight. But in all things you be glorified. You be honored and praised. And we give you glory. In Jesus' name, thank God and amen. Come on, give the Lord a hand of praise. You can be seated in the presence of the Lord. Brother Soundman, if you just turn my bass down just a little bit, I brought my bass with me. Praise the Lord. Amen. I certainly want to honor this great man of God and want to thank God for he and his wife. 25 years of ministry. Praise the Lord. Help me celebrate the one and only Pastor Joe Newsom. Amen. Turn, turn my volume back up. Just turn the bass down. <laughs> Amen. Glory to God. And I, I certainly want to celebrate all of these pastors. Um, we met on last year. We had a wonderful time last year. And, and uh, I felt a little bad because uh, all these retired servicemen, men that have given their lives, amen, and amen, the service of protecting, amen, all of us. And uh, I told Pastor Newsom, I said, man, I'm the only civilian here. Uh, amen. And uh, who I got, who I got, right. I think last year we were the only ones in it. Praise the Lord, and looks like this year going to be the same thing. But we're in Uncle God's army. <laughs> uh, I should say Daddy God's army. Praise the Lord, and uh, I'm certainly grateful tonight. Um, Thank God for my wife being with me on tonight. Wave your hand so everybody can know who you are. And uh, we only have 32 years in a few weeks. 32 years. And somebody said on last year, somebody jumped up last year and said uninterrupted years. Who was that? Who, who, that was you? She, last year she said, uninterrupted years. <laughs> that must be your wife. No, it ain't your wife. Praise the Lord. Uh, amen. But she said, she jumped up. She said, uninterrupted. And so we got 32 next week. Week after next. Few weeks. 32 uninterrupted years. Six Six children, four grandchildren, and a dog. Amen. And I'm, I'm happy. Praise the Lord. And uh, we, we made a pact when we got married. We said that we weren't going nowhere. Amen. And God has blessed us. Amen. And I'm certainly glad about that. To all of the first ladies in the house. God bless you on tonight. And uh, what can we say about the First Lady? We certainly celebrate Sister Newsom on tonight. Praise the Lord. And uh, uh, what a wonderful, quiet spirit. Uh, but I learned something about quiet people now. Uh, you mess up with quiet people, quiet people will go down in prayer on you. Y'all didn't hear what I said. All right, all right. I think you might need to turn my volume up a little more because I don't think they heard me. <laughs> but, but most quiet people 
uh, what they call a quiet stone. And see, a lot of folk like me who talk all the time, you know already what I'm thinking, because I tell you, but quiet folk will sneak on you. It'll be a sneak surprise. Yes, sir. Amen. Before you know anything, they be done going to God in prayer and them put your name all in prayer and y'all y'all sit right there. I'm married to one, so I know. Praise the Lord. And and so uh folk take quietness for weakness, but I know that Sister Newsom is a woman of great strength. And so we celebrate her again on tonight. I want to thank God for uh, uh, just a handful of abundant life to travel with us on tonight and and uh, if you here, wave your hands. God bless you. Thank you for traveling with us. And I uh, want to thank Brother Noah for being with us all tonight. Amen. Amen. All right, James chapter 4. I think that's everybody, right? And if I didn't call your name, look at somebody and say, God bless you. Thank God for you too. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. James chapter 4. James chapter 4, and I want to read one verse. Praise God. We, we've just come out of a three-day consecration, and uh, uh, we do a monthly consecration now because uh, we know that the days are getting evil. And uh, if there's ever a time that we need to seek God, it is now. Praise the Lord. So James chapter 4, one verse, and uh, we're going to see what the Lord is going to say to us on tonight. Are you ready? James 4 and verse number 6. When you got it, say, I got it. I got it. Let's read together. But he giveth more grace, wherefore he saith, God resists the proud, but he giveth grace unto the humble. But he giveth more grace. Just look at your neighbor and say, more grace. Wherefore he saith, God resists the proud, the proud. Yes, sir. but again he giveth grace. grace the second time unto the humble. Yes, sir. I, I, I want to talk tonight for a little while from the subject, the year of double grace. Year of double grace. Now, I, I, if you don't get excited, <laughs> praise God, just tell somebody, get excited for my double grace. Get yeah. It, it, come on now. Then. Glory to God. Let's look at your name and say, neighbor, this is the year of double grace. Now, if you believe it, come on, give the Lord praise and glory. When you take a look at the word grace, and all of us are familiar, it is defined as God's unmerited favor. And we know because most of us have come to salvation. We know that salvation is not a work that we accomplish in our own lives, but salvation is a work of grace. Come on, come on. For the Bible declares that you are saved by grace, yes, not of works, lest any man should boast. See, see, what I love about God is God has set salvation up so that you can't get no kind of credit for it yourself. When, when you look at the scope and the spectrum of many different religions, uh, uh, many religions work from the standpoint of the fact that men uh, uh, that worship this particular God or gods or little G-O-Ds, they have to gain the favor of that particular God uh, that they're trying to worship. Yes, but only in Christianity, only in those that believe in Jesus Christ, man does not, amen, work to gain the favor of God, but God grants man the opportunity to walk in the favor, amen, of himself. And so that means that when you think about it, amen, glory to God, every time you come to church, you ought to come shouting and clapping and, and giving God glory. Why? Because God has given you the opportunity to have a relationship with him, amen, rather you are worthy or not. 
That, that, that's why we celebrate the way we celebrate. That's why we praise the way we praise because of, of the fact that everything about my salvation has been accomplished by the finished work of Jesus Christ on the cross. And so I'm happy about it because uh, even on my best days, the Bible says, ah, my good works are nothing but filthy rags. And so I thank God because if I had to be saved based on my own merit, I would not be able to accomplish a relationship with Jesus Christ. So what God said is I sent my only begotten son in the form of human flesh would die, glory to God, live a sinless life, die, amen, resurrect from the grave, amen, and then give Munjin an opportunity to receive that grace and I received it by faith. Look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor, the only thing you did was believe. Oh, y'all ain't hearing what I'm saying. You, you didn't shed no blood. You, you didn't do like the Muslims and pray three times a day. You didn't do like, glory to God, the transcendental meditationists and amen and ding dong, 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 dong before some kind of little bell all day long. Y'all ain't saying nothing. You didn't have to cut yourself. You didn't, you didn't, uh, y'all ain't hearing what I'm saying. The only thing you did was lift at your hand when God drew you and told God yes. And so when we come to church, if we don't have nothing else to praise God for, we ought to praise him for grace. We ought to praise him for mercy. Glory to God. Now, now, now it's interesting that uh, we live in a day now where men have twisted grace because grace does not mean that even though God does this without merit, that you can do what you want to do. Because I understand that grace is unmerited favor, but also grace is space to get it right. Oh, y'all ain't hearing what I'm saying. And, and so God says this. God said, now, now I'm going to allow you to come to me. Amen. Glory to God. All messed up. I'm going to allow you to come to me with sin habits. I'm going to allow you to come with me with a life that don't line up with me. I'm going to come and let you have, amen, free worship. Glory to God without no price. Y'all ain't hearing what I'm saying. But, but in the course of time, he says, now, I'm going to demand that you get your life together. See, see, that, that's the part that, that folk don't like in the modern day church because after you come by free grace, uh, there's something called sanctification. Which means that if I'm going to uh, merit, amen, uh, or if I'm going to come to a place where I'm going to have double grace, there's some things I got to quit doing. There's some places I got to quit going. Y'all ain't hearing what I'm saying. That, that I, 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 the, the, the example that God gives me is, is paying the light bill. All right. now, 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 we own something called Dominion. And Dominion today is, uh, I think, the third or the fourth. And, and the Dominion say that the bill is due on the fourth. Uh, they're not going to really cut it off on the fourth. Uh, they give you something called a grace period. And here's what the grace spirit say. The grace spirit say you can do whatever you want to do with your money. Y'all ain't hearing what I'm saying. The grace spirit say that you can go and spend everything you got. But I'm only giving you 10 days. And after 10 days on the 14th, glory to God, I don't care what you did with your money or how it looks or how sick you are. I don't care, amen, if you got a heart attack or if you done, your whole head done been cut off. On the 14th, if you don't pay your bill, yes, click, click. Now, look at somebody say, if you don't pay your bill, click, click. And so God gives us the opportunity to come into the church by grace. But there's something that God does that merits double grace and it's called growth. Look at your name and say, y'all got to stop saying that uh, uh, this thing of grace and favor ain't fair. It is fair. For the Bible says in Proverbs chapter 3 that if you attend to the law, if you follow the commandments of God, if you do right by God, so shall thou find grace and favor with God and man. You ought to tell your neighbor, look at your neighbor straight in the face and tell your neighbor, neighbor, 
I know I got saved by grace, but this double grace on my life, I work hard for it. There's some things I had to tell my flesh no to. There's some places that I could not go no more. There's some things that I want to do that I can't do because I enjoy this grace, this double grace. That's on my life. I told the saints on this morning in our morning prayer. I told them, I said, now, now you got to understand that I, I, I've really not seen uh, too many people that come to Jesus and really sell out to God. That God don't really pick their lives up out of the pits. We come with all kind of hangups and come broken, disgusted, and busted. But because we begin to press into God, because we begin to, amen, learn from God, He said, Take my yoke upon you and learn of me because my yoke is easy and my burden, see, that's grace. My burden is light. See, the world's burden is heavy. Uh, the world's burden, glory to God, uh, will drunk you at night and give you a hangover in the morning. Uh, but God says my burden is light uh, and you shall find rest uh, for your soul. See, 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 what God is trying to show us uh, is that when we grow in God, uh, when, when we really submit ourselves to God, uh, he brings us to this place of double favor. Uh, and when we get to this place, place of double favor everything about our lives begin to look up your finances look up your health I wish I had somebody in here. I, 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 every once in a while, my body start. I, I, I'm 52. And you know when you get in your 50s, things start kind of turning a little bit. But I start speaking over my body. And I say, body, you're going to line up with the word of you going to line up with, oh, I wish I had somebody that got double grace on your life and would speak to your body and tell your body, I don't care what the doctors say. I, I don't care what the prognosis is. I'm going to speak to this body and command this body to line up. Why? Because I got double grace on my life. And so the aspect of God's grace is more than enough. The aspect of God's grace means uh, we would never be able to fully understand the depths of God's grace. Uh, it's so far beyond uh, who we are. Uh, glory to God. But, but that's not the end of the matter. Listen, God uh, has dimensions of grace. Uh, and I understand some, uh, uh, Minister Polite, I, I watch some people that can do some things that I can't do. And I stopped judging them because I understand that they have a certain kind of grace that I don't have. See, see, let me tell you something. I, I was sharing with my son Chris, and I know he don't mind, but I was sharing with him today. We, we, see, see, those of you that got special calls on your life, you, you can't do what some folk do. Some folk can get away with a whole lot of stuff because they have a different dimension of grace on their lives. But the minute you do it, you're going to die. Y'all ain't hearing what I'm saying. I, 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 we got all these good preachers in here. And I'm going to set my eye and say this because uh, we're living in the day now where the preachers are hooking up. We're living in the day now where the preachers are drinking and smoking and, and the preachers are running women and the pre oh y'all ain't gonna say nothing in here. But see, when you've really had a taste of the goodness of God, when when you've been baptized and filled with the Holy Ghost, there's some things you just can't do. There's some places you just can't go. And so I'm not jealous. Of the grace that some folk got on their lives. I just know I can't do it. <laughs> Y'all ain't hear what I'm saying. Because I've been called to a special walk in God. Oh, Y'all look at your name and say that glory on you is expensive. That glory on you is expensive. 
Oh, hallelujah. Glory to God. I wish I had about five people in here. Just grab your neighbor by the hand and say, neighbor, that glory on you is expensive. You can't do what other folk do. You, you can't go where other folk go. That glory on you is expensive. Glory. You, you got a different walk. You got a different minister. You got a different call on your life. You got double grace on your life. Yes, sir. And so as I try to, amen, finish this up, I, I started asking God. I say, God, now, uh, 20, he said, I only have two. Now, don't you tell me that. <laughs> you ain't, you don't know. <laughs> they don't know who he talking to, is it? <laughs> I've been known to teach for four hours. <laughs> Can I teach for four hours? <laughs> you sit right there. We have shut-ins. I'll teach for four, five hours. I've recorded the deacon snowing on the back seat. <laughs> Glory to God. So don't get, don't get, give me 30 minutes. <laughs> Glory to God. So, so when we look at this, this, this special grace, we look at this double grace, 25 years and the Holy Ghost kept speaking to my heart saying 25 years and 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 and, and so uh, I started looking at it because uh, uh, somebody somebody asked the question uh, how can 25 be double grace and I started looking at it and, and when, when you look at uh, the number five five in biblical numerology is the number of grace and so when you look at it, five plus five, because five plus five should be double grace. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Isn't that what your math teaches? Yeah. Five plus five is, but ten is not the number of double grace. And then I started looking at uh, the fact that five times two, because we're dealing with double, five is the number of grace. And so I started thinking that five times two, amen, would be double grace. But then I keep coming up with Ten. And then the Holy Ghost arrested my attention like only God can. And God took me to Genesis chapter 22 and verse 17. And it says, in blessing, I'll bless you. And then he said, in multiply, in multiply. I'll multiply you. And so, so what God started showing me, glory to God, is that double grace means that it's the number time itself. And so, amen, amen, simple multiplication taught me that five times five yes, sir. 25. is 25. You ought to look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor, neighbor, aren't you glad that God came? You ought to be glad that God's addition, amen, ain't like man's addition, which you one plus one is two, but with God one plus one, greater is he. That's hitting me. I wish I had five people. Grant God, one shall chase a thousand. But two shall put ten thousand. I wish I had some people in here that would get excited about what God is getting ready to do in your life. And so he says that we're entering into double grace. And so I asked God, I said, God, what, what do you want to show me in the text? And he said, the first thing I want to show you is that there's a contrast. Look at somebody and say, there's a contrast. When, when, when James gets into the text, one of the first things that he does is he contrasts Amen. Uh, uh, an envious person, a, a, a prideful person with them that are humble. Uh, he, he said that God resists the pride. He, he resists the self-righteous. Yeah. He, he resists them, glory to God, that feel like they can do this within themselves. Right, see, see, the problem with pride is, y'all ain't gonna like this word, the problem with pride is a word called independence. Here's the problem with the church, especially in this day, because people are teaching a gospel of independence. Oh, yes, they are. 
The teaching, you, you listen, a lot of the teaching now is about separation. Separate your, you don't need them. You, you, they, ain't, they, they ain't for you. And they, listen, listen, the church, I, I, tell, I know, tell somebody the church has always had problems. And problems in the church ain't nothing new. To, you just don't know because you don't read. But problems in the church, amen, have always existed. Glory to God. Amen. But, but, but the word of God says the thing we ought to do is we ought to keep, we ought to go after, amen, the, the spirit of unity in the bonds of peace. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. Look at your neighbor and say, that's a job. That's a job. That's a job. Because if I tell the truth sometime, I ain't so likable. If I tell it, oh y'all ain't y'all ain't saying, come on now. If if I tell the truth, sometimes I do stuff that my wife is offended about. Sometimes I sometimes I wake up on the wrong side of the bed. No, no, not you, preacher. <laughs> and here's the thing, you do too. You hear me? And so, and so, so that when we, when we look at it, he said you got to endeavor. That means that you got to go after you. It, it takes some energy. It takes some time. It takes, it takes some self-denial. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because if you don't do it, God said, I'm going to resist you. Y'all ain't hearing me. And, and there are a lot of folk in the church that they're they shaking and jumping and shouting and doing all that. But God said, I ain't got nothing to do with you. Because you, because you are not teachable. Because, because you won't allow God to bend you and break you and mold you and make you. You're too busy in your own head. God said, I resist the pride. The glory to God. But, but then he says, I turn around and give grace. To the humble. And so, and so it starts out with he giveth more grace. And literally this means that God gives greater grace. Greater grace. Greater grace. Shouts greater grace. Greater grace. And so he told me this grace always surpasses his previous grace. Yeah. In other words, there's a level of grace that got me saved. All right, all right. And I thank God for that. Yes, sir. But there's another level of grace I walk in now that I've been saved for over 30 years. Oh, y'all ain't hearing what I'm saying. That, that the grace that I had 10 years ago, glory to God, when I didn't have a lot of burden on me. With, I didn't have a whole lot of stuff because some of you carrying some heavy stuff. Yes, sir. I wish I had somebody in here. I, I, I wish I had about 20 people that would say, you preaching to me, I carry some heavy stuff. I, I, I'm the AIM chairman. I, I'm a Pastor, glory to God. I run revivals. I'm a, I'm a husband. Y'all ain't hear me. I'm a business owner. I got six children. I got four grand. You tell me I ain't got a lot of stuff on my shoulder. Look at your name and say, you got a lot of stuff on your shoulder. But tell him I want to prophesy to you uh, that God has given you the grace to carry it all. Oh, grab somebody by, I wish I had five people that'll go with me on the night and grab somebody by the hand and tell them, baby, 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 I know you're going through a lot. I, I know you're carrying a lot. I, I know, oh God, I know you got a lot of problems on the job. And you're, you're dealing with sickness and you're dealing with ministry. You're dealing with stress. And you're dealing with the marriage. and You're dealing with people. Glory to God. But tell them God has great you for that's what the church don't recognize yeah, yeah. And so what's happening is we're so busy trying to deal with the complexities of life in and of ourselves that's called self righteousness God is saying if you glory to God give it all to me Lord, help me in here. God is saying, if you cast all, somebody gonna help me preach in a minute. If you cast all your cares on me because I, I care for you. And so more grace indicates that there is a complete sufficiency in God. That there's, there's an endless source of God's grace. Watch this, in God's capacity. 
And so I don't understand how, glory to God, God got so much capacity that he can give me all the grace I need to handle everything that I need to handle. Uh, if God assign it to your life, I'm getting ready to go to my seat. I said, if God assigns it to your life, he'll give you grace to handle it. Lord, I must be at the wrong church. Let, let me say it one more time. Look at your name and say, neighbor. If God assigns it to your life, he'll give you grace to be able to carry it. And so I want to talk to about 20 people in here tonight who feel like you're, you're heavy laden and feel like sometimes the load is wearing you down. I stopped by here to tell you God is getting ready to give you double grace. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, your load is getting ready to get lighter. Glory to God. Look at your neighbor. Some of y'all ain't saying nothing to your neighbor. Look at your neighbor that look better than you. <laughs> Since you ain't looking at nobody. And tell them, neighbor, all you got to do is humble yourself. Under the mighty hand of God. Because God is getting ready to exalt you. <laughs> In due season, in due season is when? Tell somebody right now, right now, right now. I dare you to open your mouth and say, my due season is right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. I know I don't look like it, but my due season is right now. It don't feel like it, but my due season is right now. Sometime I got to drink tears for water, but my due season is right now. And I want to praise God because he's giving me double grace. He's giving me extra grace. He's giving me special grace. He's giving me unlimited grace to handle what I need to handle. Every day I got to go through not only dealing with my flesh but dealing with demonic attacks dealing with everything the enemy sends my way but I am so glad that he's equipped me to deal with all I got to deal with and so every day he sends brand new grace brand new mercy every day he meets me at the point of my need every day he sends a brand new fresh outpour is there anybody that's glad for the fresh outpour on this morning I got up and stretched my hand and said, Father, Father, I stretch my hand to thee. No other help I know if thou wilt draw thyself for me. Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me where shall I go? And the Lord sent help. I dare to grab somebody and tell them, neighbor, the help of the Lord is here right now. Yeah, whatever you need from God, the help of the Lord is here right now. Fresh grace, brand new mercy is here right now. God, never get exhausted, never get tired, never get weary, never get worn out. He wants to send grace. All you got to do is lift your hand and say, Lord, here I am. Oh, 
I'm an empty vessel. Fill my cup till I run over. Come on, Lord. Do it for me. Is there anybody that said, Lord, I need more grace. Lord, I feel like I'm running on empty. Every once in a while, I'm like the car who rode for a long time on E, and I've run out of gas. I can't go no further. But grab your neighbor. Grab a neighbor. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, I'm so glad when I'm weak, when I'm weak, he is strong. When I can't go another step of the way, something stands up on the inside of me and say, you can take it. You can make it. Go ahead. In the strength of the Lord, tell your neighbor, strength is coming right now. Grace is coming right now. Favor is coming right now. Yeah. Oh. Oh. I'm so glad that he give more grace. I'm so glad that I learn the secret. The secret is going down on your knees asking God, come see about me. Come make a way. Come on. Go tag somebody and tell them double grace, double grace. I dare to go to somebody. Go to somebody and say double grace, double grace, double grace, double grace, double grace, double grace, whatever, whatever, whatever you're going through, double grace, double grace. When you can't handle it, it's just right for God. When you can't take no more, all you got to do is look to the hills. From with cometh your help. Oh. Ah. 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 Your help. Somebody praising for double grace. Somebody giving glory for double grace. Clap your hand and say thank you. 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 Thank you for double. Thank you for double. I almost lost my mind. But double grace. I almost gave up. But double grace. I almost threw in the towel. But double grace. I almost went back. That's somebody's testimony. I almost went back, but double, double, I'm still here, cause double, I'm alive, double, the doctor couldn't help it, but grace brought me this far, grace will lead me on yeah ah! somebody
somebody praise him. Come on, praise him for double grace. Come on, praise him for double grace. I dare you to praise him for double grace. You're going to need it. You're going to need it. Praise him in advance. Praise him in advance. Praise him in advance. Don't wait till the battle is over. Shout right now. Give him praise right now. Give him glory right now. Double, double, double. Double, double, double. And I'm going to pray. But the Lord showed me something. The Lord showed me something today. And I've been reading it all the time and did not even see it. Because you can't just read, you got to read. And I read in St. John chapter 1, verse number 16. It says something so interesting. It said that even when it talks about Jesus, he give grace upon grace. <laughs> oh, y'all ain't hearing me. Read it for yourself. And I was blown away. I said, God, you mean to tell me when I gave you my life? Come on, come on. Right then, I had <laughs> grace upon grace. But here it is, evangelist Talia. I didn't know how to walk in it. Come on, come on. Come on. We all been there, preacher. I, I didn't know. I, 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 I didn't know. Can, can, can you help me? I didn't know how to relax in it. And God is telling somebody on the night, you're striving too hard. You're trying to make it happen yourself. And you're frustrated. Because you don't know that you're walking in double grace. Read it for yourself. When you get, when you get home, read it, read it. You done read it. See, I like, I like folk that check you out. I want to be checked out. So I give you grace upon grace. And that's what we're walking in. So, so, so ain't no need to worry. Well, the night is going to bring It'll be all over in the morning. These young people don't know that help me. Ain't no need to worry what a night is going to bring. Y'all prove it to me. It's going to be all over in the morning. In the morning. In the morning. Morning, morning, don't worry about it, it'll be all Woo! in the Say it one more time. In the morning, no more. Don't worry about it, it'll be. It'll be all Listen at this. Makes no difference how dark the night. If you trust in God, it's gonna be all right. Yeah, it'll be all more in the morning. Hey, in the morning, in the morning, morning, oh, morning. stop worrying.
worrying about it is gonna gonna be all in the morning. Come on, one more time. Let it ring out. In the morning, in I can see morning coming in your life. Hey, oh, it'll be. Hands lifted all over this house. Maybe there's somebody tonight. You're dealing with some issues. And you, you need this double grace. There's somebody tonight, anxiety got you. You worrying. I even see you having issues with sleep. Yay. Glory to God. You're sleeping, but you're not resting. So you wake up more tired than you were before you went to bed. But I came to tell you, it'll be over in Na 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 Stop worrying about it. I'm talking to somebody who's you carrying the weight you're supposed to be carrying, but it's becoming difficult. Seem like it's weighing you down. But it's going to be all over in the morning. Or maybe you just need prayer. I'm going to count to three and whatever it is, whether I call your thing out or not. I want you to come run into this altar. Because here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Somebody said the darkest hour is just before morning. And here's what we don't understand. 12 midnight, as dark as it is, it's still morning, but it's in disguise. God is getting ready to lift some burdens tonight. Woo! It don't mean that you're going to get out of it automatically, but God is about to deliver you while you're in it. In other words, there's some things I still got to go through, but my shoulders are square, going to be all over. In them. Yeah, God. On the count of three. One, two, three. Come on. Come on. Flood the altar. More. It'll be all over. In the morning. Come on. Just, just come to the altar. Makes no difference how dark the night if you trust in God, it's going to be all right. Come on, hit up. Ooh, glory to God. Just one more verse. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy is going to come at the morning light. Come on. Early in the morning, I feel my help. Glory to God. Hey, in the morning, morning, Woo. it'll be all in the morning.
Somebody help us say yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Come on, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Come on, fill the house with yes, Lord. Fill the house with yes, Lord. Yes to your will. Yes to your way. Yes all day long. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. My soul say yes. My soul say yes. My soul say yes. Hey, God, the glory is here. The glory is here right now. Thank you, Lord. Somebody give him praise. Somebody give him glory. Somebody give him honor. Woo! Glory to God. Now, did I crook? Did I coerce you into saying that? Did I, did I tell you that's what happened to you? Now, what you say the Lord did for you? He saved me.
All right. Jemiah, Jemiah, how old are you, sweetheart? 20? See, I'm, I'm good for calling people way younger. Praise the Lord. I'm I, I about to say 16, 17. But listen, hear me. You can live saved. You can live saved. Praise the Lord. You see that lady come pray for you? She got saved when she was 15. I got saved when I was 15. She got saved when she was 18. Praise the Lord. You can live saved. I told you I'm 52 now. You live saved. People tell you, oh, no. You, my daughter right there, 20 years old. Licensed evangelist with the Church of God in Christ. One of the youngest licensee in the state of South Carolina I ever had. You can live saved, baby. Glory to God. Don't let the enemy in. These folk tell you, oh, no, young folk, I, I got a church. I'm prophesying. But glory to God, we run a good little number every Sunday. And 70% of them are under the age of 40. You can, you can live saved. Now under him, read Jude, that's able to keep you from falling. Every time you feel weak, because you're you going to feel weak. I ain't even going to tell you every day you're going to live perfect. But you, you ain't got no children, do you? But you, you got siblings? You got something younger than you? You're the baby? All right, you're a baby. But you ever see little babies try to walk? What do they do? But they don't stop. They get up. And hear what we parents do. We parents, oh, come on, baby. Come on, baby. And then when they start running around and tearing the house up, we tell them, sit your behind. <laughs> sit your tail. <laughs> see, see we, we have fun in church. We love Jesus. We love the church. Glory to God. And I want to say that salvation is your portion. Don't stop till you get filled with the Holy Ghost. Because that's the keeping power. Don't let nobody tell you all oh, you, you know, all these, all these churches now tell you, oh, you ain't need all that. You do. That's the thing we got in common. Those of us that have been kept is we got the baptism gift of the Holy Ghost. Glory to God. But speaking in tongues as the Spirit give utterance, you be baptized in the Holy Ghost. You'll make it. Because every time you go to fall, the Holy Ghost will be there to tell you, don't do that. Even if you do wrong, he'll tell you, get up from that. You, you encourage your heart. And so I'm so glad for you. I want to say to you, welcome to the family of Christ. We'll be praying for you. Glory to God. And we're going to see God do some wonderful things in your life. Just lift your hands. I need the all. I need thee. Hey, go by shot yeah, three hours I need thee. Oh, bless me now, my Savior. Yeah. This is your song. I need the all. I need thee. Every yeah. hour. Sing with me. Sing with me. I need thee. Oh, oh, bless. Bless me now, my Savior. I Your part. 
on. Let a church say yes. 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 Hey, shut out of the whole sea on the whole shot. That's it. Lift up your voice. Lift up. There's a fresh wind in here. Lift up your voice. Lift up your voice. Lift up your voice. Come on, come on. There's a fresh wind. Let the wind blow on you. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Come on, lift up your voice. Lift up your... The victory is in your mouth. The victory is in your mouth. Open your mouth and give him glory. Open your mouth and give him praise. Open your mouth and tell him yes. Oh, yes. Yes, Lord. 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 God deliver you. Yes, Lord. God set you free. Yes, Lord. Victory is yours. Yes, Lord. Fresh anointing. Fresh wind. Blow God. Blow God. Who want the wind? Who want the win? Blow on me. Blow on me. Blow on me. Blow on me. I need you right now. Yeah, my double heart shot. I need you right now. Power. The power of God. The power of my God, I'm a horse Yay! Yes, Lord. Oh, open your mouth and say, Yes, Lord. Open your mouth and say, Yes, Lord. Glory to God. 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 The glory is here. Woo! Glory to God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Glory to God. Yes, Lord. Be healed. Be delivered. Be set free. The power of God is on you right now. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah! Woo! Glory to God! Hallelujah! 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 Thank you, Jesus. Somebody clap your hand and tell him thank you. I dare to clap your hand and tell him thank you. I dare to clap your hand. I dare to clap your hand. Woo! Woo! I'm going to my seat, but I dare to tell 
got two people, double grace, double grace, double. Double grace, double grace, double grace, double grace. From the bottom of my heart to the depth of my soul, yes, Lord, Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. From the bottom of my heart to the depth of my soul. Yes, Lord. Completely, yes. My soul Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. From the bottom of my heart to the depth of my soul yes Lord completely yeah, my soul my soul says yeah come on let's give the Lord a hand praise in the house on this evening The only thing I can say is, did not our heart burn on tonight as the man of God delivered the word of God on tonight? That double grace, that double grace to help us to carry the load that we are carrying. Amen. And he was on point tonight. Make no mistake about it. He was on point tonight. It's amazing how you could be on assignment. You'd be doing something that you know you need from the Lord. And then you get a phone call. Amen. My friend Brenda got a phone call that her brother transitioned on today. But she stayed. And because she stayed, the Lord blessed her on tonight. Come on, give the Lord a hand, praise. <laughs> ain't nobody mad but the devil. And I know ain't is not proper English, but ain't nobody mad but the devil. Amen. And we thank God for Pastor Munchens allowing the Holy Ghost to use him on tonight. Amen. Um, any announcements on tonight? Any announcements? Amen. Anything going on this tomorrow? Anything anybody need to let anybody know? Amen. Come on up. Come on up. Amen. Praise the Lord. On tomorrow at 5 o'clock p.m., we will be having a pastoral anniversary banquet for our leaders. And we're asking that those of you who can to please come and be in attendance with us. The location is Snelling Conference Center and I know that it is on Washington Road. Please forgive me, but if you do need to have the address, please do not 
hesitate. I do not have my phone, Jemai. If you could pull up Snelling Conference Center so that we can give you the address. We know that we did send it uh, via the invitation, but we do want to let you know the actual address of the location. And we are saying once again, the location is Snelling Conference Center and the address is 3165 Washington Road, Suite D, which is Delta. And that is in Augusta, Georgia, 30907. And once again, the time is 5 o'clock p.m. And at this time, we just want to give honor to the woman of God who and your husband on tonight, if I'm saying it right, is it honor? We just want to show. We just want to give you a token of love on tonight. So let me correct myself. We want to give you a token of love on tonight, uh, Lady Munjin. We thank God for you. And it may not be much, but it is something that we want to give to you and let you know on behalf of Lady Newsom how much she loves you and appreciate you. And didn't we hear an awesome, awesome word of God on tonight? So we thank God for you, man of God, Pastor Munjin, how you allowed God to use you and gave us a rhema word from on high. We truly thank God for you. And just to let you know, the t-shirts, we're letting you know that you are now honorary members <laughs> of Be Ye Holy Ministries. Amen. Amen. Because last year he let us be known he didn't get his t-shirt last <laughs> Amen. But he got it later. But <laughs> he did point it out. Amen. Praise the Lord. But we can't pay you for the word of God, but this is just a love and appreciation of a token to let us know how much we love you and how much we love the spirit of God that dwells within you. Amen. Well, be holy. I fell apart last year, so you, you ain't gotta, you ain't gotta, you know, tell me this year, I, I'm already apart. <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord. And I, I could tell you some secret stuff, uh, <laughs> but we on Facebook, aren't we? So I can't say it. <laughs> I have to say it later. But uh, thank God for being here on the night, and we're finished. Look forward to tomorrow afternoon being with you all in celebration. Praise the Lord. We're standing. Praise God. Thank you again, Abundant Life, for coming on a Friday night. Praise the Lord. God bless your heart. Lord, we just thank you for this double grace that we walk in. I thank you, Lord, that we don't have to carry any load. All we got to do is cast our cares on you. And your grace is sufficient. I pray tonight as we leave this place but not your presence, take us to our several destination without hurt, harm, or danger. Bring us back together on tomorrow afternoon, Father, to bless you for this beautiful couple that you've placed in this part of the vineyard. Give us traveling mercies, we pray. In Jesus' name, thank God and amen. Consider yourself dismissed till tomorrow. Thank you for attending this awesome service. Please join us via Facebook or YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube page and select the bell symbol so you'll be notified when we go live. Again, on behalf of Pastor Joe L. Newsom and First Lady Annette Newsom, thank you for attending. Come fellowship with us again, and may God bless you. <laughs>